DRDO Sky Shield, Indigenous Balloon Based Compact Radar Vertical Bar India's New Security. India's Balloon Radar Revolution Vertical Bar DRDO's Lightweight but Deadly Surveillance System. Hello friends. Welcome to today's special episode. Today we will talk about such an ambitious and state-of-the-art project of India's Defence Research Institute DRDO, which will take the security of our borders to a new level in the coming times. The project is a balloon-based surveillance system which will use an indigenously developed compact and lightweight radar. The purpose of this system is not just to fly a balloon into the sky. There is a very clear and strategic vision behind it. The first objective is continuous low-altitude aerial surveillance. That is, surveillance that can run round the clock and can monitor potential threats flying at low altitudes, especially over border areas, coastal areas and sensitive cities. The second objective is accurate target tracking and classification. The system will be able to identify small-sized drones, helicopters or other low-flying objects and classify them into different categories. The third objective is early warning functionalities. That is, to identify the threat in time and alert the security forces so that they can take immediate action. Advance reporting of enemy activities or unauthorized intrusions so that security forces can have quick reaction time. To achieve all these capabilities, two types of radar technologies can be used, advanced radar technology or mechanically scanned radar. ESA radars are capable of faster scanning, higher resolution and tracking multiple targets simultaneously, while mechanically scanned radars are relatively economical and simple. That is, in a nutshell, this system is a compact, lightweight and advanced surveillance solution which provides 24-7 eyes to the security forces while staying in the air for a long period. Active Electronically Scanned Array ESA, radar. This is modern radar technology which can scan a large area very quickly, gives high resolution and is able to track multiple targets simultaneously. Mechanically Scanned Radar Technology It is relatively economical and simple but can still provide sufficient capability for surveillance missions. While ASA-based systems will deliver fast, flexible, and high-performance solutions, mechanical scanning can be a relatively cost-effective option. DRDO is considering both these possibilities so that this technology can provide both flexibility and indigenous robustness. Friends, today's video is going to be very interesting and informative. That's why you will definitely share this video and reach many people. So that more and more people will be able to know about it. Apart from this, you are also requested to watch the video from beginning to end. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Why is this technology special? And what new advantages is it going to give to our army? You will find the answers to these questions in detail in this video. First of all, Let's understand why such a system is needed. In the last few years, drone activities have increased rapidly over the border areas, especially in the northern and western areas. Detecting small-sized drones, intruders flying at low altitudes, and enemy elements that are active at night is challenging for conventional radar systems. In such a situation, a platform was needed that could be deployed at a high altitude, stay in the air for a long time and keep constant surveillance. With this in mind, DRDO put forward the idea of a balloon-based radar system. The advantage of this will be that once the balloon is released into the air it can continuously monitor for several days or weeks. And most importantly, this technology will be completely indigenous. Now let's know about some of the main technical characteristics of this system. Weight and size, the radar weighs less than 20 kilograms and the size is kept at about 0.5 meters times 0.5 meters times 0.3 meters. Power consumption, less than 500 watts, so it can run smoothly with solar power or batteries. Detection range, identify the smallest target at 10 to 20 km and large targets at 50 to 100 km. Target tracking, the ability to track and classify over 100 targets at a time. Operating condition, ability to operate from 20 degrees C to plus 55 degrees Celsius and even in strong winds. That is, technically, this system is extremely compact, energy efficient and state of the art. Examples of such systems exist in the world. 
America's tethered aerostat radar system, TARS, is a prime example of this. American systems can fly with large payloads and monitor very large terrains. But the advantage of the Indian system is that it will be smaller, lighter and more flexible. It can be deployable quickly, can be manufactured at a low cost and is being designed keeping in mind the special needs of India. DRDO recently successfully test-fired the stratospheric airship platform from a test site in Madhya Pradesh. The airship went to an altitude of 17 kilometers and stayed in the air for about 62 minutes. During this time, its pressure control and emergency deflation systems were also successfully tested. Such balloons can stay in the air for several days or weeks and guard the border. This test was a huge step in this direction. The system is part of DRDO's Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat initiatives. It is being developed under the IDDM model i.e. indigenously designed, developed and manufactured. After the operationalization of this technology, our army will not only get indigenous solutions, but we will not have to depend on foreign technology. Border security, coastal security and urban surveillance, everywhere this system could prove to be a game changer. In the future, this system can become even more powerful with features like solar panels, EOIR sensors, and satellite connectivity. Friends, this project of DRDO is going to bring revolutionary changes in our security system. This lightweight and compact radar positioned above the balloon will give us new eyes in the sky, constantly on the lookout. And most importantly, this technology is completely indigenous. In the years to come, this system will play an important role in securing our borders, coastal areas and urban areas. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and share. And yes, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more such interesting topics.